Now let's take the static friction on an inclined surface. Sometimes you see a box on an inclined surface. That surface has a certain angle of inclination. So the object is at rest on an inclined surface. The net force acting on the object is zero. And we first examine the forces acting on the object by a free body diagram. We have the F normal here and the F gravitational here and we have or the F gravitational going this way and this is the component of F gravitation and we have the F static which is always against the expected motion direction of the object one thing to mention here you need to play a little bit with your directions and convention to make your life easy let's try to have the convention of forces parallel to the surface and forces perpendicular to the surface which means this surface the surface of inclination it could be confusing you can go with Cartesian all the time but it will be more steps to work on to solve the problem so let's say you can assume this is the x direction even though it's not realistic just for the sake of solving the problem in a simplest form so this is the x direction and this is the y direction and you start from there so if you Anything on the x-direction called parallel force, anything on the y-direction called perpendicular force. So the parallel force is, in this case, forces parallel to the surface. We would say the F static is going to the right, the F gravitation is going to the left. So the F net for the parallel forces would be the F gravitational parallel component. So the F gravitation is here. Cosine theta would be the perpendicular component of F gravitation. The F gravitational sine theta would be the parallel component of gravitational force. We know that the F net is zero, the object didn't move anywhere. So the F G gravitational or parallel would equal the minus F friction static. Perpendicular forces, same thing. You have F normal plus the F gravitational perpendicular and we know that the total force is zero. So we find out that the F friction static equals the minus F gravitational parallel force. So the F friction static is minus the value of F gravitational force. Can we find the F gravitational force parallel? Yeah, because it is the F gravitation sine the theta that would give you the F gravitational parallel. So we set the convention as we mentioned and uh, we say uphill is positive and up is positive as well and we work based on that. For the F normal, F net perpendicular is F normal plus F gravitation perpendicular. F normal would be minus the F gravitation perpendicular. F gravitation perpendicular can be solved by F gravitation cosine theta. Now let's take an example. You have here a loony on an inclined surface. The surface is inclined 25 degrees. His mass is 7 grams. He's at rest. The inclination of the surface 25 degrees find the force of static friction acting on the loony so the mass is 7 grams which be, which would be 7 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3 or 0 0.007 kilograms theta 25 g as we know 9.81 meters per second squared find the f static let's do a free body diagram we set up our convention uphill is positive and upwards is positive and anything there is forces parallel to the surface there is forces perpendicular to the surface for the sake of simplicity the analysis for the vectors of forces for the parallel direction would have a net force of zero the object didn't move anywhere and we have here the angle of 25 and we have the F gravitation so F gravitation perpendicular is F gravitation cosine theta. F gravitation parallel is F gravitation sine theta. So loon is not accelerating, it's not moving anywhere. F net is zero in parallel and perpendicular of the incline. We write the direction, the parallel and the perpendicular forces. The F net perpendicular equals the F normal plus the F gravitation perpendicular. We know F net is zero, so F normal is minus F gravitation perpendicular. For the parallel, F net parallel equal F gravitation parallel plus the F friction static. And we know the F net parallel is zero. So the F 
friction or the F gravitation parallel equals minus the F friction static. So F gravitation parallel, we know it is minus the F gravitation by sine theta. F gravitation, we know by the Newton's laws of motion equals mg. So replace the F gravitation with, minus, with mg. The F static equals minus the minus mg sine theta which is plus mg sine theta we have m and we have g and we have the theta you can find your final answer to be 2.9 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 2 newtons uphill but there is many forces here perpendicular and parallel and you know that the f net is zero sometimes in many cases like here he give you the mass not the gravitational force so you need to flip the fg into mg and you do basically a vector uh, component analysis from the freeway diagram and you will be able to solve any parameter you're asked for for such kind of a problem.